Hello, this is Billy from Asante Samples, and today we're taking a look around the offensive drums, along with all that's new in our version 2 update for existing customers. Okay, so straight away for all current customers, you'll notice there is a huge difference to the interface. We now have an all new 3D interface that is animated for a more visual experience when layering grooves for your music. The library consists of three kits, a stick kit, mallets kit, and brushes kit with a whopping 10 dynamic layers, allowing for extreme dynamics between very quiet to extremely powerful and many stops in between, repeated across four unique round robin repeats, giving a very natural and realistic human performance in use. Let's listen to the same groove across all three kits to see how the timbre changes across the three unique striking methods. Okay, Offensive Drums also comes complete with a mixer, panner and reverb unit, accessible via the mixer button located in the lower left corner of the interface. From here you can control in minute detail the levels of the individual elements of the kit along with placing them in the stereo field with individual panning. Now you'll notice a few elements names that are not immediately apparent on the initial interface, the iron factor and alternate crash and ride symbols. The Iron Factor is a great sample set of very metallic sounding iron coffee table samples. It's a very unique and powerful texture that can be blended or completely replacing the snare, then triggered from the same note. The crash cymbals have two variations. One is a standard crash and a china for a more harsh and bright sound. Again, these can be blended to taste or one can be used individually. The right cymbals have two variations. One is warmer and softer, the other is brighter and more shimmering. And of course, a mix of the two can be used for a more unique texture. It's worth mentioning at this point that the Iron Factor is designed only for the Sticks instrument, so it will only be available on the mixer from within the Sticks patch. Mallets and brushes do not have this texture. At this point, I want to point out that whilst we have used standard drum mapping to ensure cross-controller uniformity and e-kit compatibility, we have also doubled up each drum to a neighbouring note for ease and faster playing and rolls when using a keyboard and fingers. For example, the snare can be found on the usual D note, but also on E next door for easier roll playing or faster snare rhythms. This is repeated across all drums and cymbals for ease of use in keyboard drumming. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have a collection of unique scraped textures made from moving the head of a drumstick across the ride cymbal and varying lengths and speeds, with some even having the ride cymbal spun fast first, then the stick applied for an elongated and interesting scratch texture. These are placed across all patches but are only made from sticks as these sounds are not possible with mallets or brushes. Okay, that's been our in-depth walkthrough of all that's new in the Offensive Drums Library. We'll end as we always do with a piece performed by the Offensive Drums. Thanks for watching.